You need more than luck to get a picture like this, but that doesn't mean that you can't take great action photos yourself. The trick is to take multiple shots of the moment you want to capture. You can't physically press the shutter this quickly. You need something called continuous shooting. So choose continuous shooting from the menu. This camera shoots up to five frames per second. When you're starting out, try to set an aperture between 5.6 and 8 to get a reasonable depth of field. Remember, it's all about movement. For a good spread of shots, you need a position that covers the complete action, not just where you think the best moment will occur. Hopefully that shows that you can get a whole sequence, almost 15 shots there, of a ball going from hand into basket. Now I've seen what they're doing, and I know the action will get closer to me as I shoot, so I'll select AI Servo and keep the AF points on their faces. The camera will then track focus with the players as they approach, ensuring all the shots are sharp. So there you have it, continuous shooting, a really exciting way to break down the action and bring a moment to life.